Hi guys, my name is Tomcat and welcome to a brand new episode of Stock vs. Tuned in Forza Horizon 4. Now, before the video gets started, I want to say that I have taken a suggestion from the comments of some of my other Stock vs. Tuned videos where instead of building the the car that we're going to tune pretty much to max, instead of doing that, we are going to equal the PI or at least come as close as we can to equaling the PI of the stock factory car that we're starting with. Now in this video we are going to be running a modern Dodge Challenger Hellcat against a old classic Challenger RT. Now of course the Hellcat is going to be much faster from the get-go stock for stock but after the the 70 Challenger is tuned we'll see what ends up becoming of that. So we've got our starting point here we're going to get this run out of the way real quick and three two one Go! This thing when it's stock is all about managing wheel spin. It's ridiculous off the line in first and second gear. It basically just does burnouts from the factory. Come on! Here we go! Easy! And across the line at 168.22 miles an hour. Not bad. I mean, 168 is not slow, especially for something stock. So after running 168.22 in the Hellcat, we're going to go ahead and head back to the garage, grab our 70 Challenger, and see what it will do stock. So now we're in the iconic 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. This thing, oh my god, it's hilarious. I forgot how oversteer happy this car was. I mean, I should have expected it to be, knowing what it is, but still, it's hilarious to drive. So, I'm pretty sure it's going to do just about the exact same thing that the Hellcat did off the line. Because, again, this is stock. So, three, two, one, go. Spun a bunch. I almost have a feeling that this thing is going gonna, is gonna to run faster than I originally anticipated it would. I mean... I was originally thinking it was only going to do like 130 or so, but it's looking like it's going to do more than that. One thirty-eight point nine versus, of course, like 160. What was it 168? I think it was 168. So 138 stock versus 168 stock. So honestly, that's faster than I thought it was going to be from the factory. So now what we're going to have to do is go back to the shop and try to m get as close as we can to matching the PI with this car uh, that the Hellcat has. Now the PI we're shooting for is a A776. So that's not too high, but it's also not particularly low either. But remember that about seven, uh, 776. So I'm going to try to hit between let's say 775 and 785. So that's the range I'm shooting for with this car. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Now, brakes are gonna be upgraded all the way and we're gonna be on, good Lord, that is low. Race suspension and we'll do everything, pretty much everything in the chassis except for the cage. The only problem is we're running out of PI room really quick. Mm, let's see. Get everything done in the drivetrain. Yeah, we're running out of PI room really, really, really fast now. Kind of concerned about that, actually. Oh, my God. We really are running out of PI room fast. This doesn't change the PI, though, and I want, I, I want decent-looking offset, so I'm not worried about that. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted wheel style. I wanted wheel style, not, like... You know, as, as common as those wheels are, they actually look good. They look good on this car because that's the type of car they were made for. These look good, too. I'm going to run these. They, they look good. Now, let's see. Rear tires, 345s. Good God, that's a big tire. Might as well run a 275 in the front. Already at a 760, and we haven't even touched power. Jeez. I almost wonder if I should save some PI and go back to a 225 in the front. That that might be worth doing, to be honest. You know what else? I'm going to get rid of the race brakes, because we don't need brakes to do this. I mean, it's nice, but it's not the biggest... Ooh. Ooh, the cams, the cams add a lot, but... God, so does the flywheel. Jeez. Right now, we're 774... 
776. I mean, we're making 510 horsepower and 512 foot-pounds of torque weighing in at 29.94. Those are really good numbers, but I don't know if it's going to be enough. But regardless, now it's time to uh, it's time to mess with the tune a little bit and see what our numbers look like on the virtual dyno, because the virtual dyno will give us a lot of information. The only thing about the virtual dyno is it doesn't always give you exact information. So sometimes out in the real world, those numbers can change a little bit. I'm going to run 18 PSI, and let's see, it says 0 to 60 in 2.6 seconds, which is pretty good. Top speed of 180 miles an hour. So... That's enough, but I don't know how fast we're going to get there. So let me see if I make it accelerate a little quicker if that top speed just automatically drops. 180. Let me see if I put it at a 373. 179.8. So we're kind of gambling with this a little bit. Not necessarily gambling a ton, but we are gambling a little bit. Not going to soften the sway bars all the way. I'm going to soften them some, but not all the way. Uh, let's see. Ride height. I'll bump it up in the rear just a tad. Just a tad. Not much, but just a tad. Mm, I want this thing to really, 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 really hook. So I'm going to make it a little bit softer in the back. And acceleration is going to be locked down. And without any further ado, it is time to head to the highway and see what this car is actually capable of. I know it's raining right now, and I know there's going to be guys that are going to say, Oh my god, it's not fair, it's raining. But sometimes conditions like this just happen in Horizon, especially when you're in when you're in spring. Like, just random rain just comes and goes. All right. We're right about where we need to be. Launch mode. Let's do right at 4,000 RPM. And three, two... One, it's probably going to bog and launch. Oh, nope. It's quick. It is definitely quick. Question is, is it quick enough? I don't know. One fifty-eight, so ten miles an hour slower. When we equaled out the PI, we ran 10 miles an hour slower in the Challenger RT than we did in the modern Challenger Hellcat. So I wonder, I wonder, the rain is clearing up, and if I tune this thing a little bit differently, I wonder if I can make it go faster, because if I tune it a little bit more towards speed, that might give me the little edge that I need up top. Or if I do individual gearing tuning. I just don't know how we're going to find another 10 miles an hour. That's the big thing. Because how, how we find another 10 miles an hour is going to be a big deal. Because 10 miles an hour, when you're at those speeds, 10 miles an hour is a lot. It really is. I mean, at those speeds, 10 miles an hour, it's a, it's a crap ton of speed. All right, let's back up a little bit so we're even with the sign. Well, we're just about even with the sign. And let's go get some tuning work done. Now, hmm. If I tune the final drive a little bit further towards speed, then the 0 to 60 drops. But does the 0 to 100 drop? No, the 0 to 100 gets better. Yeah, the 0 to 100 gets, well... 6.334... With a top speed of 180. Oh, this is this is so weird. I kind of want a little bit more acceleration out of 5th and a little bit more acceleration out of 6th because I want to get into 6th earlier. I want to get into 6th earlier, but I don't know if it'll let me get into 6th earlier. And that supposedly drops the top speed. But I think we might have a formula we can work with here. So I'll give it this one last run... And if it does it, then then it worked. If it doesn't, then the stock Hellcat is faster. Launch a little lower this time and go. For a slightly damp road, it doesn't actually spin that bad. 
Come on, there's 130. Oh nope, 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 nope. I hit the the I hit the dirt just a tiny little bit and it pulled. It pulled really bad. Good grief, I hate the traffic. Especially if I'm trying to get like an exact run. 159.2. So we went faster, but we definitely didn't find an additional 10 miles an hour. So with that being said, the Hellcat is faster. When we match the PI, the Hellcat is faster. This thing put up a really good fight though. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button. Let me know in the comments below what suggestions you have for stock versus tuned videos. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to click that subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time. Talk to you all later.